Some engines break, fail and rust away, but some redefine what indestructible is. This will blow up your mind. Japan engineered a few so tough they outlive the very boats they power. These aren't weekend toys, they're the workhorses trusted in remote oceans. The diesels that rack up thousands of hours, the outboards that refuse to die. But here's the kicker. They were never about flashy numbers. They're the silent giants behind entire industries. Stick around, because the last engine on this list carries a story so unreal it borders on immortality. Here are the 15 most indestructible Japanese engines ever. The Yamaha Enduro 40 is one of those engines that proves why Yamaha became a household name in the first place. This 40-horsepower two-stroke is famous across Africa, Asia, and South America for being a rugged, no-nonsense workhorse. Designed for tough environments where mechanics and spare parts are scarce, the Enduro 40 built a reputation as the kind of motor that would run in the morning, even if it spent the night lying on its side in the sand. Its simplicity is its strength. No fancy electronics, just a straightforward carburetted engine that shrugs off dirty fuel, salty water, and endless hours of use. Fishermen in remote villages still rely on Enduros that have been in service for decades, patched up with little more than hand tools and creativity. The funny part, these engines were never about speed or flash. They were about trust, and when you're miles offshore with only a paddle as backup, that trust is priceless. The Suzuki DF-140 Ace sits right in the sweet spot of outboard engines. With 140 horsepower and a lightweight 2-liter inline-4 design, it balances power, fuel economy, and longevity in a way that boaters have loved since its debut. If you asked Suzuki engineers to bottle reliability, this is probably what you'd get. It's popular with coastal fishermen and recreational boaters alike because it just doesn't let people down. Fuel efficiency is another plus, with Suzuki's lean burn technology making it a wallet-friendly choice for long days on the water. Plenty of owners will tell you they've replaced trailers, hulls, and electronics before they've even thought about replacing their DF-140A. One boater joked that while his boat has been through two paint jobs and one marriage, the DF-140A is still running like new. Before we hit the next engine, don't forget to subscribe. Because the deeper we go, the wilder these legends get. And trust me, the final ones will leave you speechless. The Honda BF150 has been called the sweet spot of Honda's outboard range. It's a 2.4-liter inline-4, producing 150 horsepower, and it blends Honda's automotive know-how with marine durability. With features like VTEC for smooth power delivery, it runs more like a car engine than a traditional outboard. But what really makes it shine is its bulletproof nature. These engines are often found on charter boats, where they rack up thousands of hours with little more than regular oil changes. They're quiet, efficient, and famously smooth, making them a favorite for boaters who don't want drama every time they turn the key. Owners often compare the BF-150 to a loyal dog, always ready, never complaining, and somehow outliving all the flashier options. If you want an engine that will still be with you when your kids inherit the boat, this is it. The Tohatsu MFS-60A is one of those engines that prove you don't need massive horsepower to earn respect. This 60-horsepower, three-cylinder four-stroke has built its reputation on being simple, lightweight, and almost impossible to kill. Tohatsu doesn't always get the spotlight like Yamaha or Honda, but talk to a commercial skiff operator in Alaska or a rescue crew in Japan, and you'll hear the same story. The MFS-60A just works. Because it's built with fewer moving parts than bigger, flashier outboards, there's less that can go wrong. Owners joke that it's the outboard equivalent of a Nokia brick phone. It might not have all the features, but you could drop it, forget about it for a season, and it will still come back to life. Plenty of rental fleets have run the MFS 60A for years with minimal care, and it keeps chugging. It's not a glamorous engine, but it's a workhorse that wins you over with consistency. Sometimes boring reliability is the most exciting feature you can ask for. If you sail, chances are you've heard of the Yanmar 3YM30AE. 
This compact three-cylinder diesel has become the go-to choice for small to medium sailboats worldwide. It produces about 29 horsepower, which doesn't sound like much, but in the sailing world it's less about speed and more about trust. When the wind dies and you're a few miles from port, the last thing you want is an unreliable engine. The 3YM30AE has earned a reputation as the little diesel that never lets you down. It's fuel-efficient, smooth, and known for starting even after sitting all winter. Sailors often say the most nerve-wracking part of their season isn't storms or tricky navigation, but the first turn of the key after storage. With the 3YM30AE, that anxiety usually disappears with a satisfying rumble. Plenty of owners share stories of their Yanmars running for decades with nothing more than basic maintenance. It's not flashy, it's not powerful, but in terms of reliability, it's like having a steady old friend aboard. Now let's switch gears to something with muscle, the Yamaha VMAX SHO250. This outboard was built with bass fishermen and tournament riders in mind, which usually means high-performance engines that wear out fast. But the VF250 broke that stereotype by combining speed with serious staying power. It's a 4.2-liter V6, pumping out 250 horsepower, but ask around at the boat ramp and you'll hear plenty of stories about these engines lasting years under grueling use. One angler joked that his VMAX has spent more time at wide open throttle than his wife has spent at the mall, and it still runs like new. The secret is Yamaha's engineering, which balance lightweight design with rock-solid durability. Even after thousands of hard tournament hours, the VF250 has proven to be far from fragile. In fact, for a motor with high output in its name, it might just be one of the toughest outboards Yamaha has ever built. When it comes to commercial fishing fleets and workboats, the Isuzu UM6BG1TCX has a legendary reputation. This inline-six diesel was designed for serious heavy-duty use, and it shows. Built to deliver around 165 to 200 horsepower depending on tune, it's the kind of engine that will run all day, every day, without breaking a sweat. If you've ever been on a trawler that seems older than you, Chances are an Isuzu is sitting under the deck, humming away. Operators love it because it's straightforward and built like a tank. It doesn't have delicate electronics or exotic systems. Just solid Japanese engineering that thrives on consistency. You'll hear stories from captains about running the same UM6BG1 for decades, sometimes outliving the hulls they're bolted into. The running joke in some harbors is that the Isuzu doesn't just power boats, it powers retirement plans. That's because fishermen trust it to keep working year after year, long enough to pay off their debts, replace the boat, and still keep going. We're just getting started, and if these engines impress you, wait until you see what's ahead. Hit that subscribe button, because the one waiting at the very end, it's unbelievable. Honda's Aquatrax ARX 1500 might sound like a personal watercraft engine, and that's exactly what it was. But its 1.5-liter turbocharged inline-four proved so tough that plenty of people began adapting it into small boats and skiffs. Built in the mid-2000s, this engine was Honda's answer to high-performance watercraft power. But it also showed off Honda's knack for making an engine that could take a beating and come back for more. Despite its turbocharger, which usually raises reliability concerns, the ARX 1500 gained a reputation for shrugging off abuse. Owners would run them flat out for hours on end, beach them, dunk them, and still get years of use without major issues. It became one of those sleeper engines in boating circles, not an official outboard, but a motor with bulletproof DNA that found a second life in small craft. Leave it to Honda to build a jet ski engine that laughs at the idea of retirement. If you want to see reliability on an industrial scale, look no further than the Mitsubishi S6R2 MPTK. This inline-six diesel is a monster, putting out anywhere from 500 to 1,000 horsepower depending on configuration. It's the kind of engine you'll find in ferries, tugboats, and large fishing vessels where downtime isn't just inconvenient, it's financially crippling. Mitsubishi built the S6R2 with the philosophy of over-engineering everything. 
heavy blocks, oversized bearings, and a design that values strength over weight savings make it nearly unkillable. Crews often joke that the hull will rust away before the S6R2 calls it quits. Anecdotes of these engines running 30 to 40,000 hours before needing a rebuild are common. Think about that. It's like running a car engine non-stop for years. When you're out at sea, knowing you've got a Mitsubishi diesel humming away beneath your feet feels a lot like having an insurance policy you can actually trust. Back in the 1980s and 90s, the Yamaha Pro V150 was the engine you wanted if you were serious about sport fishing. This 150 horsepower two-stroke wasn't fancy, but it was tough as nails. Many old-timers still swear by it, claiming their Pro V starts quicker than their lawnmower and has seen more sunrises on the water than they've had hot breakfasts. What made it special was Yamaha's ability to combine raw performance with bulletproof reliability. The Pro V150 was light for its power, making it popular with bass boats and offshore anglers alike. It didn't demand gentle treatment. Run it hard, troll it slow, flood it with salty spray, it just kept coming back for more. Plenty of these motors are still in service today, decades after they left the factory. Owners joke that the only way to kill a Pro V is to stop feeding it gas. It's one of those engines that earned Yamaha a reputation that still carries weight in boatyards around the world. The Suzuki DF350A is a more modern powerhouse, and it represents everything Suzuki learned about building reliable outboards. With a 4.4-liter V6 and contra-rotating dual props, it puts out 350 horsepower while staying surprisingly efficient. It was Suzuki's bold move into the flagship category, and it's paid off with glowing reviews from offshore boaters. Despite the complexity of its dual prop system, the DF350A has proven remarkably dependable. Offshore captains who run them hard often point out that while fuel bills might give them headaches, the engine itself never does. Suzuki engineered it with oversized cooling and tough internals, so it doesn't mind long days at wide-open throttle. Some fishermen like to joke that the DF350A is hungrier than their teenage sons, but it pays them back by never skipping a beat. It's become one of those rare big outboards that you can trust on serious offshore runs, where turning the key and hearing that V6 roar is all the reassurance you need. Tohatsu might be better known for small and mid-size engines, but the BFT-225 shows they can build a big block that's every bit as reliable. Based on Honda's proven 3.5-liter V6 platform, the BFT-225 delivers 225 horsepower with the toughness required for offshore duty. It's often found on patrol boats, dive charters, and fishing fleets where engines rack up hours quickly. What sets the BFT-225 apart is how stress-free it feels even under heavy load. Operators often remark that it doesn't seem to notice when the boat is weighed down with gear, fuel, and people. It just plows on, humming away without fuss. In fact, the most common complaint is that it's almost too uneventful. Owners joke that they forget it's back there until they realize they've covered 50 miles without so much as a hiccup. For Tohatsu, the BFT-225 is proof that reliability doesn't have to come with bells and whistles. Sometimes it's just about showing up and getting the job done. If there's one engine that defines the mid-size yacht and commercial workboat market, it's the Yanmar 6LY3 ETP. This inline-six diesel makes around 480 horsepower and has become a global favorite thanks to its mix of power, smoothness, and relentless reliability. Walk into any marina, lift a hatch, and odds are good you'll find one of these staring back at you. It's built on a tried and true block that can run for tens of thousands of hours with only routine servicing. Captains love it because it delivers plenty of grunt without being temperamental. You'll hear skippers joke that their crew takes more sick days than their Yanmar ever has. From ferries in Greece to sport fishing boats in Florida, the 6LY3 ETP has proven itself under just about every condition imaginable. It just delivers steady power day after day. For many, it's the engine that makes the difference between a worry-free voyage and a long tow back to shore. Most people know Toyota for their cars, but their marine engines deserve just as much respect. The 1KD FTV 
The 3.0-litre turbo diesel, better known from land cruisers and Hilux trucks, was adapted into Toyota's Ponam boat series. If you thought it was tough on desert tracks, wait until you see what it can do at sea. With around 260 horsepower in marine form, it's surprisingly smooth and fuel efficient. Toyota's expertise in building long-lasting diesels means these engines can take years of saltwater use with minimal drama. Owners say it feels odd lifting a hatch and seeing a Toyota badge in there, but it doesn't take long to trust it. The 1KD FTV has earned a reputation for being as close to unbreakable as a diesel gets. Some skippers say the biggest challenge is convincing their car friends that the same engine powering their truck is also hauling a 40-foot cruiser through choppy waters. It's Toyota reliability, just with a lot more spray. To finish, let's go small. Really small. The Yamaha 15F is a lightweight two-stroke portable that has become legendary for its toughness. With only 15 horsepower, it's not going to win any races. But try telling that to the thousands of fishermen, divers, and islanders who swear by it. For them, this little motor is the definition of dependable transport. It's simple, easy to pull start, and can be carried by hand. Owners often joke that it's harder to sink a 15F than it is to sink a cold beer after a long day on the water. They've been seen running after years of neglect, surviving drops, and even limping along after less than perfect fuel. For many boaters, the 15F was their first engine, and sometimes their last, because it never gave them a reason to upgrade. It's living proof that sometimes the smallest engines can leave the biggest reputations. Tough, portable, and downright lovable, the 15F is a fitting closer for this list. So there you have it, 15 of the toughest Japanese marine engines ever built. Some were small enough to carry in one hand, others big enough to power ferries across open seas. But all of them earned one reputation. Indestructible. These engines prove that reliability isn't about flashy numbers or marketing hype. It's about showing up year after year, wave after wave, without fail. If you enjoyed this countdown, hit like, subscribe, and tell us in the comments which engine blew your mind the most. And here's the kicker. The next list we're working on might just make you rethink everything you thought you knew about boating. Stay tuned.